A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a sawmill, and they were loaded for bear. All right, welcome back to Call of War as Gunslinger. I'm your host, the Wasker, and we're back here with. When we're here at the sawmill, looks like things aren't going to go very well here, but we're going to go down and give it a shot. So let's just uh, see what's going on. Oh. So what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. But first, I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brocious. Get ready, boys. Turn nothing. Curly Bill took charge of the cowboys upon the old man's demise. And after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. So they murdered Morgan Earp and grievously wounded his older brother, Virgil. Oh, I'll tell you what, that was a close one. I can't even so much tell what I'm shooting at. Oh, that one there. Went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride. Hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. If only it were that easy, pal. Looks like I got me a skill I can use. Hmm. I think that'll be pretty useful. Almost got another already. Better give me some ammo. Oh no. There were killers around every corner, all wearing red bandanas. That's how the cowboys identified each other. And I was beginning to wish I had one myself. Well, you just killed a whole bunch of them. You'd think you'd be able to steal one. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed. And that's what moved me forward. They say that Ringo was infernally fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Earp wasn't much of a match for him, but Doc Holliday might have taken him. That longer should have kept his nose out of it. They never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Earp. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. That's cold yeah, hard so. shooting a man in the but back. Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died, why didn't his son take over the cowboys? 
Because I Clanton was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Don't want to be a yellow belly. All right, I think we're going to double our reload speed for our revolver. I think that'll do us some good. Now, where was I? Taking down the entire cowboy gang single-handed. Indeed I was, Jack. Oh, almost got me there. Oh, that almost did not go well. wasn't easy as those boys had good cover. That's the truth. You telling it like it is. Oh, got me right in my side. Right in my side. They were a man, they'd shoot me right in the front. There were carts everywhere, piles of lumber, and God knows what else for people to hide behind. That really was one hell of a sawmill. Quite an impressive operation. What it looks like. Not impressive. And where was Curly Bill? Did you see him? I'm about to get to that, Ben. Patience. I'm painting a picture here. There was this beautiful waterfall and a crystal clear stream that led to a verdant valley that was truly... Consider your picture painted. What happened next? Well, finally the bastards that were still alive made a last stand. It's a good thing there weren't too many of them. Not when I was finished. Curly Bill, Johnny Ringo, and his compadres took off into the lumber yard, and I followed after. Boy, I say that's a clever tagline for that, Curly Bill. Are you saying they ran? Cowardice was not in Ringo nor Curly Bill's nature. No, sir. I never said they were running scared. They just wanted me out in the open. Well, he's one fast shooter. I don't really have a chance. Maybe I'd have better luck with two guns.
You're yellow, Curly Bill. You're yellow. Oh, I tell you, I couldn't tell where they were coming from. Well, I tell you, I don't think Curly Bill can move. <laughs> Brocious gave me no choice but to take his life. But Ringo was no. I tell you, it's to be probably found. not very fair. I knew you didn't kill Ringo, because he was found dead in a different location altogether. To this day, his killer is still unknown. Indeed. Took me a few months before I finally tracked his ass to West Turkey Creek Canyon. Next in line, to take over and take a bullet. Johnny Ringo doesn't look like a very nice fella. It's like we're gonna have ourselves a duel. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Wasn't fast enough. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Oh, looks like we both caught a bullet. That's incredible, sir. I always thought that Doc Holliday was the one that killed him. Looks like I got him that Sorry time. I had to ruin the legend for you, boy. But the legend ain't always true. Doc Holliday had nothing to do with the death of Johnny Ringo. Well, looks like I got him that time. You know, there's only so many places you can go when you run into me. Now, well, all I gotta say is if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, I reckon. You can subscribe to me if it uh, fits you well. Otherwise, I'm gonna let you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later.